Hello, Phil Simbor, USBGF Teaching Pro, with another position that causes havoc to screw with your head. Uh, the score is Red is losing two away, one away Crawford. In other words, Red needs two points to win the match, Blue needs one point to win the match, and it's a Crawford game, no cube. Red's on the bar and has to play a 5-2. What would you play? unless you're some people that I play with in my chouette that uh, like to take a lot of time, uh, especially if I have to go to the bathroom. There's really only two plays to consider. Coming in with the five and making a very nice anchor in your opponent's board and making the 11 point, which is a very nice strategic play, or coming in and hitting, which would lead to a more aggressive game and probably more gammons and wins Maybe. I don't know. I don't want to mislead you. So those are your two plays. Which which play do you like? Okay. Well, we're on what's called Gammon Go, uh, if you're red. In other words, you need to go for the Gammon. And basically what it means is that winning a Gammon wins you the match. Losing the game loses the match. The value of Gammons is the same as winning or losing the game. It's worth 1.0. So every time you have a checker play to make, you should try to decide how many gammons you win, or win as a result of making that play and how many games you might win or lose as a result of making that play. And whichever number of normal match scores where a gammon is worth 0.5, you really need to win twice as many gammons as the number of games you might lose in order to make a play to try and win more gammons. Otherwise, you go with the play that wins the more games. Well, in this case, when you're on gammon go, uh, you like volatility, you like hitting, you like getting gammons. It doesn't cost you a thing to get gammon, and your gut reaction is going to tell you to hit here, and it's very, very wrong. Um, and the reason it's wrong is the math that I explained to you when we first when I first started discussing this. By keeping the anchor, you're going to win 57.8% of the times. You're going to win 3.7% more often than if you hit. How many more gammons do you win if you hit? Whoops. Oops. You don't win more gammons if you hit. You actually win fewer gammons. You win 1.2% fewer gammons. That's the fallacy of the hitting play. The hitting play doesn't necessarily win you more gammons when you get a third checker back, especially when in a position like this the third checker might actually help blue. What's the best way that blue can prevent gammons? By making an anchor in your board, particularly a high anchor. When you hit this checker, he can make your 5 point with a 5-2 or a 5-4. Or if he just rolls any three, he makes the three point. Any of those will pretty much prevent gammons. So that's why hitting isn't such a wonderful thing for winning more gammons. Why do you not win as many games? Simply because you have a far inferior position for winning. When you have your checkers spread out and he's got all these attackers, he could come in and hit loose. He could come in with doubles and you're cooked. He could come in and hit here in the outfield and you don't roll a five and now he goes after this checker. You're just going to lose a lot of games. And you're going to win a lot more games by holding this position. So the moral to the story is, even if you're on game and go, don't forget about the importance of winning the game. The importance of not losing the game. And by the way, the lesson is the same in reverse. If you're on gammon save, if you're blue and you're trying not to get gammon but you'd like to win the game, don't forget that you still got to win the game. And it's worth risking some gammons in order to win the game, to make a play that wins the game more often. So don't go overboard on this gammon go and gammon save idea. You really have to weigh the two. There's more to it than just going all out uh, and trying to win gammons or all out and trying to save gammons. You still got to play the game and you still have to win. Uh, this is from a lecture I gave in San Francisco last weekend and this was one of the two or three problems that most people got wrong. Uh, the quiz factor will help you. 
because it seems logical when you're on game and go that you want to hit and you're thinking well Phil's trying to trick trick me so I'm not going to hit but over the board admit it lots of people are going to hit here that shouldn't and uh, what you do is studying the game and learning these positions and and also using um, a strategy called MCV most common variation what's most likely to happen on the next roll that's how I figured out why you don't win as many gammons because hitting this checker doesn't hurt blue that much at this point in the game for making an anchor and I can see that so many rolls after this roll are so good for blue and so few rolls are really that good if you just make this point you got plenty of time to win this game hope this helps and hope it helps you a little bit with the concepts of gammon save and gammon go bye bye